Hi, this is um, how to make a pressure plate. Well, I want to do some high speed photography with something falling. Uh, so I thought that I'd make my own pressure plate since I don't have one. So this is how I do it. Right, now here's what you need for a pressure pad. Um, clamp, sink lead, one end bared off. The standard sink, I'm using a standard sink. The um, ever necessary cello tape or some other sort of tape and a piece of tin foil and that really is just a piece of tin foil out the kitchen so what I'm going to do I'm going to just attach that contact or that wire to that which now becomes a contact I turn it over and I attach the silver paper to the table keeping that wire out of the way. Now if I attach the ruler to the edge of the table, I mean there are hundreds of ways of doing this of course, you don't have to use a ruler, you don't have to use anything that I'm using. But I found one of the good advantages is of, this, of using a metal ruler and it makes it good fun. So you just attach the other one to the other metal ruler. Now if the ruler touches the, the kitchen foil it'll make the flash go off. So how do we make it pressurised? Well we use the cable, or I use the cable, as a spring. So now it'll spring back. Now why do I want it to spring back? Well I'll show you. If I do that the flash will go off if I let go, it'll bounce up and down and make several contacts, so it gives me a bit of adjustment. And just by adjusting that, will allow me either to have one flash or several flashes. Well, there it is. Now, this is the interesting bit. So, what we do is uh, switch on the flash. As you see, it's just uh, like that. Now, whatever falls on there, it will make it flash. Now, I'm using the cable passing underneath. Now, if I move the cable further away, what it will allow me to do, it acts as a spring and comes back some hits. So it's adjustable in all sorts of ways. It's quite clever, isn't it? Um, there we go. I'm going to have great fun with that. Now this is uh, another version of it, uh, version 2, which is the ruler is held at both ends and the connection in the middle, as you see. Now that allows um, me to put something each end under the under the ruler to allow it to bounce a bit more up and down a bit more controlled in a controlled manner so this allows for heavier weights and uh, it works very well as you see with this bowl if I put the bowl on then I drop something into the bowl it will fire the flash as I said the other end is just a standard sink lead that we plug into the camera well let's have a go and see if it works so we're going to turn off the lights, we're going to have a five second exposure in the dark and this is what happens. Uh, I pick up my object and I just throw it into the water. Now, <laughs> it's not very interesting is it? <laughs> and even in slow motion it goes pretty quick. So this is the final still from the shot, not the greatest shot on earth but uh, it shows it works. So we can have a lot of fun with that. And this is uh, another one I did. It's just just fun. So there are other ways of doing it, of course, with a sound trigger, a laser trigger, but all that's for other lessons. So why don't you make yourself one? Bit of silver paper and you're away. Uh, go on, put your pictures up on a on on this on a on a video reply, and we'll all have a look at them. Cheers.